Hello everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch it. This is officially my second video. So if you were one of the hundred people that actually watched my first video, thank you, thank you, thank you, and bravo to you for sitting through it. I very much appreciate it. It's a learning experience. I still haven't figured out this camera stuff or how to operate this webcam. And I really appreciate y'all sticking with me. And if you're brand new and this is the first time you're watching my content, my channel, or maybe you clicked on by accident, thank you too. I so appreciate you helping a new YouTuber with her journey on YouTube. And this video is about the items that I'm going to sell at auction. And you say, auction? What auction? You just started a channel. You can't have an auction. And you are absolutely right. This auction is not on my channel. This will be on the channel Angel in Pink Camo. So last Saturday was my first day selling at her auction and I was blessed that she thought it went well enough that she invited me back this Saturday. So I'm going to show you a preview of some of the items that I'm planning to have. Now, because we do three rounds at a time and we never know quite how long the auction will last, there is no guarantee that I will get to all of these items and I could get through all these items and pull out other things last minute. So nothing is a guarantee. Also, if Angel happens to be selling something similar, then I don't sell any items in that category. So if she starts selling makeup, then I will just set my makeup to the side for some other Saturday because I'm not here to compete with her because I am so blessed just to be on the auction at all. So I try to sell completely different items from whatever I see that she's selling, but I have lots of items in different categories um, that I will have piled around my living room that I can throw up to the auction block. Well, technically it's a tray, not a block, but still semantics um, to sell for you all. Now, the auction takes place Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Now, make sure you write that down, um, 10 a.m. Central Time. And you're saying, oh, the auction's going to go on for four hours. It doesn't matter if I get there at the beginning or the middle, sometime at the end. That's just how auctions work. And for most auctions, I would say they absolutely work that way. But... All auctions have a few unique qualities as well as a few unique catchphrases and one of the things that Angel does that I've never seen done at any other auction is she has early bird specials. So with the early bird special it is the least expensive items, it is the biggest bargains and usually at least one if not several are only at the one dollar price point. And so that's just for the people that tune in immediately at the beginning or they're waiting and many times they're buy it now. So therefore there's not even any bidding. It's just the first person to type $1 in the chat gets the $1 buy it now from the very few people who show up at the beginning and are waiting. Um, because she doesn't do a whole long stall, stall, stall till more people show up she starts her auctions pretty quick. She takes time to say hi to everybody and of course explain the rules and how it works and bidding increments, paying, shipping, all of that kind of stuff, which I'll let her explain, but spoiler alert, it's the basic way. Um, so without further ado, let me show you the items I have. And the first item you're looking at, flip-flops. This is going to be my $1 buy it now. So this will be the first thing up, the $1 buy it now. Um, you can see there's lots of different sizes, um, both for kids, for teens. You can see there's all kinds of colors and styles. So this is going to be my ultimate bargain, first item, early bird special. Just a buy. And they're brand new with tags. Now, the next things I want to show you 
are things based on what sold last week. So last week, I had a smorgasbord of various things because I didn't have a clue of what would sell. Some of what sold was underwear. So I have these multi-packs, both of which are Hanes, both of which have five in them. This one is a seven, and this one's an eight. I've also got a huge box of size seven. Here's a box of size seven, of size eight. You'll notice this one is brief. This one is bikini. Here's a size seven. I've got a size nine, which is two X. And I have this three X that is actually maiden form brand. Ooh, fancy. And is the Flexies Shaper. So it has the no pinching waistband and it helps prevent the rolling and digging. And then not to leave the guys out, I'm also going to have a little bit of guys underwear. I have these tagless boxer briefs in a size large, as well as this brand of boxer briefs also in a size large. This one is for adults. This one is for boys. So size large either way, whether you're an adult or a child, I've got you covered. Also, because socks were so popular last time, I decided that I would try to sell some more socks this week. This time, instead of the big packages of socks, I have two packs of socks. Look how cute these are. These are for girls, and they have a unicorn on them. Just darling. Then for adults, I have these with the pineapple. And remember, they're two packs, so you get two that coordinate to each other but are different. I also have owl socks. Look how cute these owls are. Just darling. And then for everybody who ever wanted to be a mermaid, whoever loved Ariel in The Little Mermaid, here we go. Cute, cute, cute. So we're going to have those two pairs of socks. But some of us need socks that just, that have more than just fashion. So I have these compression socks, which are from CVS, and these copper treated comfort socks, because I've seen um, Angel sell some copper items, seen her sell some CVS items, some, you know, pseudo medical homeopathy kind of stuff. So I thought, well, I have some of that. If it's popular, then I will sell that. I also have this copper compression sleeve and this copper fit hand relief. So those two will go up. This is a large, extra large. This one is just large. Another one of my extreme bargains for just a dollar is going to be this kite string. I have a whole bunch of these. I have no idea why my parents had so much kite string, but just like in the last auction, we started selling a bunch of fall, autumn type stuff, um, although it was decor, but we all know kite season, once the wind starts kicking up in the fall, that it's also kite season. I'm guessing that my parents must have had so many of these because it has an alternate use. I don't know what the alternate use is, but... <laughs> for them to have a bunch. And if you care about color, this one is on a red reel, but I do also have uh, blue and green as well. Since Halloween and fall things were popular, I thought I would sell some more decorations since I managed to sell some last time. This is a little crooked from storage. 
So these both say Happy Halloween. One is solid black and one is candy corn colors. Or is it corn candy? You know, if y'all watch Steve and Steph, they used to debate this candy corn versus corn candy debate all the time. Also, I happen to have these squishies. Some of them look like candy corns. Some of them look like pumpkins. I've got a black cat down here. I've got a ghost. So those are going to be part of the early bird specials. There's going to be only a dollar. These, I haven't quite decided on the price yet because let me back up the camera. They are way taller than will fit just sitting on the uh, edge of the table. So, but those will be later in the show. Also, in the realm of fall, I have this fabulous candy dish. Take a look at this. It is porcelain. And most candy dishes, you know, you just reach in this way. I love that you have to be daring enough to put your hand in here. Whether it's a real treat, or maybe you have something silly in there, or something to confuse people, um, something that's more of a trick than a treat. But regardless of what you decide to put in there, it is a lovely porcelain um, candy dish. It looks a lot like Ray Dunn, but it is absolutely not Ray Dunn brand. Also, in the realm of fall, I have this oil painting. See, oil painting, oil on canvas. Now, I don't think I've ever seen anybody sell art uh, on an auction. I don't know that there's any reason why you couldn't. Um, it could definitely be fall decor. So I thought I would see if anybody was interested in art. Also, some of the other art I have is this Home Sweet Home. I have an Aim for the Moon. These are all new and still in their shrink wrap. I have this picture holder with the clip. It says... Friends are life's greatest blessing, and you would put your own photo here. I also want to sell some more craftsy stuff, um, because my mother had a ton of craftsy stuff. And in keeping with the Halloween theme, I have these molds. They're actually made by Jell-O, and they're meant to be, I believe they're called Jell-O Jigglers. And... You can see that they are pumpkins, ghosts, bats. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to put jello in there. You could um, put just water and make ice. You could even put a little purple food coloring in it, and then it'd be purple, or it could be orange. You could make wax melts with them. You could make candy with them. You could make just about anything with them. Also in the realm of food, I have these Wilton candy molds. And see, you can make bonbons, you can make cocoa balls. Let me turn it this way. So you can see there's multiple sizes made by Wilton. Wilton, the premier company in baking. in crafts. Does anybody like to make their own candles? I have this candle mold. And just look at the beautiful projects that you can make with this mold. Whether it be actual candles, whether you mold other things. Let me turn it this way. You can see it's molded after Botticelli's Angels. There's also some flowers, some hearts. This would be great for a wedding, for Valentine's, for somebody who just has that loving country motif going on. And then lastly, having to do with candles, I have this candle magic set. It has sheets of honeycomb beeswax 
and you get orange, you get white, and you get black. And you can cover other candles, as in the picture, or you could make your own. But wait, that's not all. Also, in the field of, of trying out different things, I've noticed that Angel does well with selling makeup. So I thought I might sell a little makeup of my own. So I had some mascaras. Let me show you what I have. All different brands. That way winners could take their choice. So I love the choice auctions because then instead of just showing one product at a time, the winner can pick from several because some people have a favorite brand, some people have a favorite um, effect or a favorite type, and so I definitely like to respect that. Also in the realm of makeup, I have this really fancy Paris Hilton set. Let me back up because it is so big. It's got three layers to it. It is 15 pieces. So it is a skyscraper of lipsticks and it is gift packaged. I also have some palettes. Here's an example. This one's called Faux Glow. It is brand new. You can probably see the, the paper over it. It's got six gorgeous colors for highlight, for contour, for cover-up, for concealer, and this will work with so many different skin tones. if anybody's interested in antiques but I wanted to start with just a few of the smaller antiques my parents had just to see if they would sell here's three different pictures that they had my mother collected these and these are the the smallest ones of her collection Look at this beautiful glittery case. Even just the case would totally be worth buying. But when you open it up, it's an entire manicure set. Both sizes of fingernail and toenail clippers. One of those diamond files, room for an emery board. And on this side, you have room to put your own stuff. I skipped this, but I also have this fabulous palette, brand new and steeled. It's from the Atlantis collection. Going back to more fall items, I want to show you some of these beautiful figurines. Look how cutie these are. Are those not just to die for? I mean, who says it has to be Anna and Elsa? Why can't this be the Anna and Elsa of fall? This one literally says, happy fall. But what if it was these little adorable ratatouille creatures? I'm not sure if they're mice or rats, but they are just adorable. And then if you like squirrels, Look at this one and this one. Oh, wait, they're not completely in the view. Let's see if I can get them. Now, can you see them? Look, a little boy and a little girl. They're just darling together. And then I also have the salt and pepper shakers, which are acorns. Great for the entire season. 
Also would be great for Thanksgiving as well. And for all of that fall yard work, look at this really heavy duty hand rake. Really heavy duty. Sometimes those handles are just thin as can be. And this one is super reinforced. It was originally from Big Lots. Now, I wanted to try some new things that I hadn't tried to sell before. So let me show you some of the, the new things that I haven't tried yet. I have this fabulous um, day planner calendar that says, find the beauty of every day. And some of you may be saying, but Belle, the year's almost over. What are you doing? What are you doing? Well, let me show you. It's 2013. So technically, it started, actually, it was a year and a half. So it started in July, and you can see August, September, November, December. And then here we go. January 2023. And then we go through the entire year, the entire year. So it started out as a year and a half, and there is still way over a year left in it. So you get ahead of the game by going ahead and buying your day planner now. I also thought that I would try selling some books, magazines, collectibles. My parents just love those. This one is a nutritionist guide to superfoods, A to Z. So if you want to see all of the foods from jalapenos, garlic, coffee, blueberries, mussels, olive oil, potatoes, sardines, <laughs> turmeric. So it's all in here, an A to Z guide because it doesn't have to be January for you to change your diet and start getting healthy. Also in the realm of collectibles, I have one about Led Zeppelin. I have one about the TV show MASH, which was put out by Life Magazine. I have one about the presidency of Joe Biden. I have one about keto dieting for anybody who's new to keto or just needs some more recipes. And then I have, oops, I have the time power of kindness. Now also, I thought I would try to sell some crafting magazines. Let me show you what I have. We have this Count Your Blessings coloring book and it's based on 43 Bible verses. So you can see there's the Bible verse and then you color it in on the other side. Just beautiful. I have a color your own greeting cards. So you color them and you fold them and they're for all different occasions. Next, I have Mystery Colors with Dinosaurs. So this is a color by number, and it's just full of different color by numbers, and it's only when you color in the numbers according to the colors at the bottom of the page that the picture reveals itself. If you've ever wanted to take up origami, I've got the book for it. If you like the dot to dots, where by drawing lines, from one dot to another dot, it makes the picture. I've got one of those. My dad used to love those. And then lastly, I have a designing colors. The masterpiece awaits. Coloring for everyone. 31 beautiful patterns. And just look at these beautiful patterns. Gorgeous. So I'm going to try to sell some books this time. Also, I going to attempt to sell some shoes because we're headed into fall and isn't it almost boot season? 
But you know, boots are really hard to find, hard to fit. So one of the things I like are these little booties because even if you have thick calves, or for some people it might be the opposite problem of calves that are too thin, then these little booties are perfect. And these have such a luxurious feel and they're animal prints. And I have these in three sizes. I've got a six, I've got a nine, and I've got a 10. And speaking of the same shoe in different sizes, I have this shoe, this one's a nine, and it's for ladies. It does have one little spot right here. You really need a Mr. Clean eraser. But then I also have this shoe, which looks just alike, but it's a men's, and it's in size 11. And strangely enough, it must be a great design because I also have a tiny little one in kids, which is size one, and it's marked boys. So if you like this black and white pattern, which these are not Converse brand, but they kind of look like the Converse style to me. Is it just me, or do y'all think that too? Then I wanted to try to sell a few slippers as well. How many of y'all are familiar with the Floppy brand? So in the floppy, I have two in medium, one in large. And let me tell you what I like about it. What I like about it is the fact that it is indoor or outdoor. It is anti-slip technology. It's breathable, but most importantly, that memory foam. That memory foam is so incredibly luxurious. Now, I do have these in a cheaper version that don't have the memory foam. Um, so if these are not in your budget, I totally understand. It won't hurt my feelings. But I do also have um, the more affordable version too. You'll see that next. Here's the more affordable version. It's called Fur Flops. And they're basically just a flip-flop, but made of the super soft fur. Now, they don't have the memory foam. Do not have the memory foam, but they're super soft. And I've got, let's see, medium, medium, large, and medium. So I've got different sizes, different colors. Now, I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, it says four rolls of poly twine. I'm guessing this is some kind of craft item. It looks really pretty to me. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my parents used it for, but I'm sure that it had some purpose or my mother was making some craft with it. Um, I don't know if it maybe had something outdoorsy. Hopefully somebody at the auction can tell me because craftsy stuff I just don't know about. Also, I'm going to be selling these uh, ticket coupons. I don't know if anybody needs them for an upcoming carnival at their school, at a festival. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and you play some kind of game or have drawings, but I have them in both red and green. So hopefully somebody can make use of those. And then I thought I might try some dog items. I'm not sure if anybody that attends this auction has dogs, but let me show you what I have. I have this cute bone by Top Dog that says, Chew Me. I've got an adorable taco from Zippy Paws. have a swaggish. It's kind of a chicken. Makes its crinkle sound. Let's see if you can see the label now. 
Here we go on the bag. And this one's called Flown the Coop. How cute is that? For larger dogs, I have this really, really huge one. It's a hot dog and it says, bite me. It's got the crinkle, <coughs> but it also makes sounds. And this is huge, 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 huge. Then also for the larger dogs, I have these huge knots. I have it in both green and blue. For dog owners that also love Star Wars, I've got this Star Wars uh, item. It's a travel feeder. And so you flip it over like this and you're able to put your pet's food or water in there. And then I wanted to show you a few clothing items too. The first one is going to be this super cute little Superman shirt. Now, this could be for every day. It could also be for a Halloween costume. Just adorable. Super small. Might be extra small. Let me see what the tag says. Yes, extra small. Now, I didn't know what sizes everybody's dogs were, so I tried to choose a variety. I have this super cute denim outfit. Look, it's got the chevron pattern. And this one is in small. And then the last one I have is in size large. And it's this blue kind of terry cloth material. And it says weekend vibes because apparently even dogs care where it's the weekend and you can see the the cutout part on the back so that they can breathe so if your dog isn't a size um, extra small small or large if you want to request a certain size then let me know and I'll see if I can find something else and bring that out but until I know the sizes of people's dogs, whether for toys or for clothes, I'm just guessing at this point. Also, I don't know if Angel is selling candles this week. If she doesn't happen to sell candles, then I might throw a candle up for auction. I just got it the other day. Let me show you. It comes in this beautiful amber jar. Oh, let me turn it this way. Beautiful amber jar. It's called Fall Flantle, Flannel. It has a wooden top, but the best part is it has a wood wick. Now, it is a little broken on the bottom. So, if she's selling candles, then I won't be selling candles because I am not going to steal any of her thunder. But if she doesn't happen to be selling candles, then I may throw this one up there. Of course, I would wrap it real good. And because it's broken, you should set it in a bowl to burn it. This isn't the bowl you should set it in, but just as an example. And as I said, um, not all of these items may have time to make it into the auction. And some of the other items um, may get canceled because I don't ever want to compete. Also, at the auction last week, somebody specifically asked about shower curtains. I can't remember who it is, but if for some reason that person happens to come back into the auction this time, I do have this shower curtain set, which comes with the rings. And then this one, which also comes with the rings in different colors that I'm going to throw up, or if somebody else is interested, it can be for absolutely anybody. The more that y'all request items, the more I know what to um, put up for sale. So otherwise, I'm just guessing. So I look forward to y'all giving me some ideas of what you are interested in, what you like, what you don't like, because I don't want to waste your time by throwing up the wrong stuff, and I'm still completely new at this. So... Y'all give me some feedback, and I look forward to seeing y'all Saturday on the Angel in Pink Camo 
YouTube channel at 10 a.m. Saturday morning. And remember, the early bird specials, that's the, the dollar ones, whether it's a dollar buy it now or a dollar starting bin. Both Angel will have early bird specials. I'll have early bird specials. That will be each of our first rounds. So if you could possibly tune in at the beginning, you absolutely want to because those are the best bargains of the entire day. But thank you ever so much for watching. You can applaud my efforts by clicking the thumbs up. You can share this video with a friend or to your social media or to your YouTube community page, just like Jessica did for my first video. Shout out to Jessica Dumpster Girls who decided to put my very first video on her community page to announce to people that I now had a YouTube channel and I had finally made my first video. So hopefully somebody else will be a great friend and supporter to me and post this video in their community page to help me out. Hopefully I will see y'all at the auction Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And until my next video, I say laissez bon temps rouler, which means let the good times roll. Roll in your mind, roll in your heart, roll in your soul, and roll in your life. And roll on and on and on. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.